In this social traffic video, we're looking at Broadcaster.com. It's literally Broadcaster.com. And here you can see there's people, live, videos, news. You can upload, there's tools and playlists. And on here you can find information pretty much about everything. There's live webcams, there's broadcaster news, there's people, there's playlists, there's sponsored videos. You basically can have information on all sorts of topics in here. Um, and you can be driving traffic to your websites in your niche quickly and easily with something like Broadcaster by creating some of your own video sites. Just to give you an idea of the power of video, I typed in golf swing in here into the search box. And as you can see, this gentleman here has got dominated links coming up straight away on the site for golf. It's got golf instruction, how to stop slicing, hooking, preparing for, how to hit. And if you go to his uh, actual site, so if we go to this one here, this video here, his video starts playing, um, which teaches you how to stop slicing. And you can play it here. And as you could see, what he's doing is making sure the video information submits to his category. And throughout the videos, he's put a watermark on here, suggesting that if you want to learn more, you go to teastogreens.com. And if we do have a quick look at that very quickly. And as you can see, his site's now loading. And here we go, Tease to Greens. So it's a very comprehensive site here. You've got um, golf blogs, forums, galleries, calendars. There's um, all sorts of information here all about golf. It's got a word cloud, content. And if we go to the Golf Virtual Golf Pro, he's even got a video setup page where you can type in a question about golf and he'll give you an answer in the form of a video. So it comes up here with a, a question and then you just basically type in what do I or how do I say improve my swing to avoid bunkers, hit submit and it'll actually come up playing the video here and um, giving you an answer. So it's a very comprehensive site, but it gives you an idea of the power of sites like broadcaster.com on if you're using them correctly in your niche you can get people to your websites very easily and get lots of views and more and more traffic so before we go through more of the features let's actually join the site and on the home page you've just got your login username and password information if you haven't logged in yet you can hit register and just a quick note as well here there's a mature content filter in our case, we've got it on, so it's not going to show adult content. You can have it on or off. It's entirely up to you, um, depending on what kind of products and services or whatever you want to see coming up on this site. And once you're ready, you hit register. As you can see here, it says sign up for a free account. using You put in an email, a username and password, your gender, date of birth, and then hit register. And as you can see, it's got Don't Miss a Fun. It's easy and free. You can broadcast live and chat with friends. You can upload and watch videos. There's full-length movies, music, games, videos, and free software, all sorts of bits and pieces inside the Broadcaster.com site. So let's go ahead and sign up first of all. And once you fill out your information, it says a verification email has been sent to you. Please follow email instructions to complete the registration and allow up to one hour for your email to arrive. It also mentions that you might want to check your bulk folders and spam filters as well if you haven't got your email you can always click here to resend if you've had to whitelist the product for example so then you go to your email account log in and confirm the verification email once you hit the confirm email you can choose if any of you want to have any of your um, email accounts uh, or registered accounts or even myspace profile pull in your friends and invite them to broadcast at the same time you just check these boxes and you can then invite people if you want to Then you can upload your profile, you can put in your profile information, your bio, favourite movies, favourite bands and favourite websites and then hit submit. And then once you fill out information it says welcome, then it'll have your name in here, your total friends, how many messages you have, friends online, friend request pending and upload your own videos. And also you can upload multiple images to your profile as well at any time if you want to. Once you've set up your profile, you can just go to Upload Videos. You can then find a, uh, a, a file on your computer, add a title and description, add tags, choose the channel you want to add it to. So you might have animals and pets or entertainment, hobbies. 
news and political, TV, urban, video games. You can choose which one here and start uploading your video. Obviously, at the end of the day, the more videos you add, and one huge tip would be that you also always add in the corner of your video a little badge that shows your website or have it come up down the bottom, an actual web address of where they can find more information. Because the idea is ultimately you want to be using sites like Broadcaster to build up people's knowledge of you. It's like a branding, so you can become known as an expert. But also for people to find your website, find your videos and see they like what you're producing, whether it be a, maybe a cooking series, and then have a link to your website where they can go next to find more relevant information from you. And that's how simple it is to be using sites like Broadcaster to drive traffic to your site with videos. The cool feature about Broadcaster once you set it up is if you've got a webcam set up, you can actually broadcast live. You can even then go to embed your webcam so you can take your a code that, from the site, paste it into your blog or one of your websites and actually broadcast live. So if you wanted to do like news reviews, update summaries every day and, and almost run your own TV style station, you can do that with broadcaster.com. So it's a great way to get your face in front of your niche market and get people coming back to your site to watch your live web broadcasts and to get people coming to your sites to see more about your niche and obviously the fact that they pick you up as being a master of your niche or a respected person to come to within your niche market and it could be anything like I said anyone if you're doing perhaps cooking type demos why not do them live and do a live chat show if you like where you broadcast from your kitchen using your webcam and place that on your site simple and easy techniques to use with broadcaster.com